Hi, this video is to show how to use the MISA 2 data logger with the Geonix EM31 device for anyone who's unfamiliar with it. This is the Geonix EM31. The booms are not installed for this demonstration because it is difficult to hold my phone and the instrument at the same time. The instruments, at least the current more modern ones, come with a tray where the MISA 3 data logger slides in. If you have the geode GPS, that will get mounted right there. Uh, and it will connect to the data logger via Bluetooth. For this demonstration, we will not be using the external GPS. So in order for this to work, you have to make sure that the EM31 is in operate mode. Then you go to your data logger, which is essentially just a Windows 10 tablet PC, and you select the EM31 data logging program. Apologies for the phone orientation on this video. There are a couple of parameters you can change here. Uh, normally when we ship someone rental equipment, we've pre-configured everything, so everything should be good to go out of the box. Um, normally you would hit system setup and you would make sure that the COM ports are set correctly based on what Bluetooth connections are available. If you have to redo the Bluetooth connections in Windows, you might have to modify these. But for the most part, you just leave them as is. The device has an internal GPS. So there's some configuration options you can do here. If you use a Bluetooth or serial port external GPS, you'll have to modify them here. Otherwise, leave as is. You can monitor the strings that are coming off the internal GPS. Um, there's a little bit of noise in here, probably because we're inside. If you go to logging, assuming that the Bluetooth connected properly and it opened the port, it will show you some numbers here, conductivity, in phase, the mode, if you turn the instrument sideways, it'll automatically change the mode. And the gain number uh, is the value on this switch. Um, for Depending on what the range of your survey is, you will want to change that. Uh, you gain more range at the expense of extra decimal points. Now, you can see the GPS is here. If it's green, it's working. We got 12 satellites, we got positions. Um, the boom isn't detached, so all these numbers here are, are nonsense. You create a new data file, give it a name that you would find appropriate, and hit go to log. You can tell the thing makes a bunch of noise. Normally you'll see a graph of your profile uh, as you're walking. When you're done, pause. Exit. And go view files. You can actually scroll through the graphs, but most people will simply use the file manager. And if you find your documents folder, hopefully you have your data files in here. That's all.